midst of a Hollywood Squares reunion, and joining us now is a man you may remember as Monroe from the sitcom Too Close for Comfort. But you certainly cannot forget him as the zany, nutty, crazy, upper left-hand square. Please welcome the hilarious Jim J. Bullock. <laughs> Good to see you. Hi, Jim. How are you, John? <laughs> oh, 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 group hug. Oh. It was like this uh, every show. It was. Oh, God. Every show you were, and every day you would come in my dressing room in between, we would laugh. And try on your dresses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now. Talk about Rock Hudson. What? <laughs> I am... I don't want to. Oh, Rhonda's gonna leave him now. That bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. We were all talking about who was your favorite guest and who, who besides us, because we were such family, who was your favorite when you used to see the name up? You'd say, oh, good, we're gonna have fun tonight. Oh, God, that's a tough one, you know? Yeah. Because there were so many that came on that I liked. You know who I actually did like? I really did like Charo. I did too. I like yes. Charo. She yes. was great. She's very, very, very smart. Yeah. She's very smart. She speaks Japanese. I, I as well as she speaks English. Yeah, I know. Well, I <laughs> no. no, she does. She, she studies. Yeah, she's in Hawaii now, yeah. performing in Japanese. You know? Is she really? Does performing in Japanese? Yes, yeah, she can do a whole show in Japanese. <laughs> and it I, sounds just like it does in English. <laughs> no, she really does. I like her because she is so weird. But, yes, you know, yes. but neat weird. Who can you call somebody weird? Shut up, John! <laughs> Tell about... I just got help with the drinking problem you gave me. <laughs> Tell... I'm sure you've all seen the Globe article about my career. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Let's ostracize them. What? what? What did? What did Globe say? I like it over here. What did? Okay, so I'm putting my house on the market. You've been to my house. Yes, it's great. You really selling your house? Tell you want to buy it? Why are you selling your house? Because I'm not working. I need the money. Why aren't you working? Well, I don't know why I haven't been working. Why haven't I been working? Uh, Joe knows. <laughs> Tell you why? Well, tell us. <laughs> he's outrageous. Jim J. But Bullock. He should be in another sitcom. He, producers don't know what to do with him. They don't realize that if you just let this man go, like they did Robin Williams with Mork he's, and Mindy, exactly. his, his mind exactly. is crazed. Yes. I could be a cop. Halt. <laughs> It's just gonna fall off someday. <laughs> who, who are you staying friendly with from the show? Oh, you were friendly with Smokey. From <laughs> Smokey. Smokey. <laughs> Smokey. <laughs> Stormy. Smokey. <laughs> Stormy. I stay friends with Stormy. Smokey. Oh my God. He was the musical director on the show. <laughs> yeah. What are you I doing? came undone here. No, you didn't. So now what? Okay, now what have you been doing since Hollywood Squares? You went on Alf. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, hey. Yeah, I served time on Alf. Yeah. You didn't have a good time. I didn't have fun on Alf because it was so. I wasn't right for the character. It was really wrong. They should have never hired me. Yeah, you know, yeah. they they but really. But you're so funny. People just hire you automatically because they know you're going to be funny. But they didn't let me be funny. I mean, I, they didn't let me be funny. I went to high school. <laughs> They didn't let me be funny. <laughs> did no. you ever feel dumb on our show? Because you didn't go to college. You're one of the few that didn't. I did. I did, too, go to college. I went two years to college. Oklahoma Baptist University. God <laughs> love you. <laughs> what was the worst time you had on our show? Tell the Milton Berle story. 
You want me to tell that? Yes. Okay. I'll tell the story about Milton Berle. Do you remember having Milton Berle? I don't having him on, but I don't know how to hear this story. Wait. <laughs> Milton Berle. <laughs> I'm telling you, Milton Berle was such a pig to me. He was such a pig to me. He was. He came on the show, okay? And this is like when I'm high up there. Uh, I, I, this is, hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Don't you love audiences? They'll just do anything you want. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Milton Berle, I was, this is before I became a regular on the show, and I was guesting on it the first season, and Milton Berle was on the show. Well, I, you know, I loved Milton Berle. I mean, I, I didn't really know his show because I wasn't old enough to know his show, but I knew that he was Mr. Television, and he had all this experience and everything, all this respect. He's on the show. So, um... He, I, he's in the center square, and he's down there talking about me during the show, because I'm being myself and being outrageous and queer and everything and everything. And, and he, just thought, <laughs> he just thought that, you know, I was so obnoxious and everything. And so at dinner break, the producers come up and they go, okay, we're going to do this incredible bit. We're going to have you go down, you're going to crawl down into his square during one of his questions, and you're just going to gush over him, just going to gush, gush, gush over him, tell him how wonderful and how fabulous he is. I'm here with Mr. Television and everything. And he's going to have a pie, a story about a pie. And then he's going to stand there, look into the camera, and then just go... <laughs> the pie in my face. He created that bit on television, okay? I go, so we're walking back to the dressing room. He goes, okay, now you do what I tell you. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but he said, you do what I tell you. He said, none of this fact He said, you do exactly what I tell you. He said, because I know timing, I created this bit, and this bit will work if you do exactly what I tell you. And I said, my ego was a little, you know, bruised, but I went, okay, this man has been around since God. He must know what he's talking about. So just suppress whatever you're feeling and do exactly number by number what he tells you to do. I crawl down into his square. I go, good, I can't believe you're Mr. Milton Burrow. He's a Mr. Milton You know, just going on and on and on about how fabulous Milton Burrow is. And then he does this. I suppress my instincts, which are to do other things, and it dies. It dies. It, nobody laughs. They have to put in canned laughter. I have to go back to my square. Whipped cream is dripping into my crotch. And I'm into it. I have to stay here for the rest of the show for like 30 more minutes with, with, with a, a sticky crotch. You know? You know? It was awful. It was awful. Every time you cross your legs, it'd be like. Yeah. Before we go to commercial, I want to. Favorite time. Can you remember? My favorite show was the Christmas show, even though it took us hours with all that stupid snow. They would put us back in a winter wonderland, but we got to bring on all our kids. Must have cost thousands of thousands dollars. Thousands of dollars. It looked and yeah. Melissa was on, and, and right. your son was on. Everybody yeah. brought their children on. It was and just it snow. Great. They made it snow yeah, on Hollywood Yeah, they made it snow. Yeah. What was your favorite show? Just off the top of your head. Uh, the Bahamas. The, oh, no, 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 no. I take and that we back. went horseback take... riding. Yes, that's right. They took the us beach. to was that right? Miami. Yeah. Bahamas. That's right. No, that was in Miami. On the beach in Miami. Diplomat. Oh, I was that's doing right. Coke that week. No, that wasn't it. <laughs> no, it was oh I know. It was New York City Radio Mu City Music Hall. Really? Radio no, and I'm serious. City that was it. That oh, was the highlight. Oh, we filled Radio City Music Hall four times line. Don't brush the dandruff <laughs> off my shoulder. We filled Radio City Music Hall four times, and Shadow couldn't get out of the building. That's right. I know. Let's bring Shadow out. We'll talk about you that. You and I got out pretty easily. <laughs> Very easily. I would stand in front of the building, and nobody cared. <laughs> Please, somebody. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, we'll be back, and when we come back, we'll come back with the sexiest game show sidekick since, oh, I don't know, Sh Shadow Stevens. Woo! Uh,